Hello everyone, it's Suspensions Guy. Follow us on Instagram at the rate Suspensions Guy and do read our blog posts on suspensionsguy.wordpress.com for design of Formula Student cars. So, today we are going to talk about anti dive and anti scot suspension geometries. So, but before entering this topic, we need to understand why do we need these geometries in our design and how does this anti geometries affect our design. Basically, the anti geometries are classified into two types that is the anti dive and the anti scot, which alters the response of the components during braking and acceleration. The anti geometry affects the pitch movement of the car as the car dives or scots. Now, why are the anti geometries required? We know that the center of gravity is the point through which all the forces act on the car. Without the anti geometry, the forces during acceleration and braking are taken by the spring and dampers alone. With the implementation of anti geometries, this will help to transfer the forces through the suspension A arms and the spring collectively. The geometries are made such that to reduce the rotation and tilting of the car in pitch mode during braking and acceleration conditions, which can cause change in ride height, leading to bottoming out in low ground clearance cars. So, we will cover what is anti dive geometry, how to calculate and draw anti dive, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the anti dive suspension geometry. So, what is anti dive suspension geometry? When decelerating or braking the car, the, uh, the car tends to lift from the back and dives from the front causing the load transfer from the rear towards the front through the center of gravity point. To oppose this action the anti dive geometry is implemented in the design of the car. The anti geometry causes the forces to be taken by the suspension arms that is uh, uh, the upper and the lower wishbones in case of double wishbone suspension. It does not change the wheel loads on front and the rear but it only affects the weight transfer during the braking to be distributed between the suspension arms and the springs collectively. So now what are the steps to draw and calculate anti-dive? Now the first step, draw a tire representation in the side view and locate the center of gravity height and its distance from the front tire. Now draw for the second step, draw the lines which are extending from the mounting points of the upper and the lower wishbone towards uh, towards towards another line towards the another line extending from the bottom of the tire contact patch and connect all the th all the three lines forming an instantaneous center now the distance from the center of the front tire to the point of the instantaneous center is called as the svsa length that is the side view swing arm length and the height of the instantaneous center is called as the SVSA height. Now extend the lines which we have made from the bounding points of the upper and the lower wishbones and also the line extending from the contact patch forming the instantaneous center towards the line of the center of gravity represented by the height uh, with the height H and the point V at the point V. Now here the formulas have been uh, given that is anti dive percentage tan phi tan phi another formula and the anti dive percentage which is represented by q by h into tan phi into 100. In this image all the design uh, all the design of the anti dive suspension geometry and the basic uh, calculations have been noted only you have to substitute the values for calculating the anti dive percentage. Now what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the anti-dive suspension geometry? The anti-dive uh, the anti-dive geometry advantages includes the geometry counters the suspension geometry changes like changes in camber can be reduced, maintains the ride height and improves the aerodynamics of the car and prevents the bottoming out. Disadvantages includes the dynamic response of the vehicle is reduced which cause which can be very difficult for the driver during driving. Increases in increase in percentage increases the stiffness making it less compliant to the surface irregularities. Mounting of the arms on the chases is difficult due to inclined arms as seen from the side view. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel that is the Suspension Sky and uh, do read our blog posts at suspensionsguy.wordpress.com which uh, the link will be given in the description below.